Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today, a Saturday here at Mad World Tarot. <laughs> a little stutter there and we are carrying on today with our look at the Commonwealth and Lady C's theory that the Parkles are all are going all out to undermine Prince William as future head of the Commonwealth and basically trying to grab the position for themselves. So that is how I am interpreting her uh, recent video about Harry and Meghan and the Commonwealth anyway. Um, so we're going to look at this with the Radiant Tarot. We're going to look at it from the Royals perspective now and see how important the Commonwealth is to them. It was incredibly important to the late Queen. It was the legacy that she was most proud of. Um, how important is the Commonwealth geopolitically? It is of course a buffer in the world, the great game that goes on in the world between East and West and round and round we all go. Um, I want to know how the King feels about his potential successor. Who would he like to see installed as head of the Commonwealth when his turn is over? How he feels about these alleged machinations by Harry and Meghan? How does Prince William feel about taking over as head of the Commonwealth? Is it something he wants? Is it something he's given up on? How does he feel about these alleged machinations of Harry and Meghan? And then the outcome for the Commonwealth itself, is it going to endure or is it on its last legs? And Harry and Meghan's role in the Commonwealth, if any, um, how's that going to go? Um, and as I say, the end, the world card comes flying out, which is a kind of an ending, interestingly. So, uh, the Radiant Tarot, which is a very royal family tarot that I got to celebrate the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Seems like an eternity ago. And we're going to have a look at these questions. And in future, we're going to look at the actual Commonwealth countries and see how they feel about Harry and Meghan and this alleged attempt to oust Prince William, basically sideline him, poison the members of the Commonwealth against him, according to Lady C, and grab the Commonwealth for themselves. 56 countries. 2.5 billion people not a small thing so i think we're ready to go and let's remind you it's tarot for fun and entertainment it's all my opinion it's all speculation i just read energy here and of course there is a disclaimer in the box below so i'll explain the cards as we go and uh, let us see what the Radiant Tarot has to tell us about this organization. Underlying energy, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse, getting out of a difficult situation, out of a kind of a mental trap. Um, we're looking at the royal family, interestingly, really, the perspective here. So they might have felt recently, especially with the Caribbean tour, that William and Catherine uh, went on and uh, that things went quite horribly wrong for them at some point. They might have felt that they got themselves into a situation that was quite sticky and how would they get out of it. But this is the Ace of Swords in reverses. Don't have to worry. Don't have to be so afraid of the situation. You're making it worse than it is. There are ways through this, ways out of this. You just have to have a different vision and I think Prince William alluded to that when he was in the Caribbean during that rather awkward tour when um, Harry and Meghan's agents uh, stirred up all kinds of trouble um, a new vision required so that's interesting that that has popped up as the underlying energy of this reading the situation we're dealing with royal family five of cups a lot of sadness about this and as I say, it would be sadness, I don't think, for them personally as much as for the late Queen and her legacy. It was some, something she really worked very hard to build up. She kept it together uh, with some very strategic moments, um, visiting countries that were being awkward and difficult and dancing with people and being lovely and um, she really held it together and now Five of Cups is uh, all rather sad 
about how things have changed since her passing. Um, so, situation for the royal family, how important is the Commonwealth to them now? We got the Six of Cups in reverse. This is the past. It's, it's past innocent days, the Six of Cups. Happy memories, fond memories. Um, I don't want to offend people, but we are going back really to the days of empire with the Commonwealth. As Meghan and Harry pointed out, empire too, and said snarky things about. And uh, plenty of harm done by that empire, which I will fully acknowledge right now. But Six of Cups uh, in reverse is looking back at the past and knowing that those days are gone forever. And th that would be the queen and her generation and her um, father and grandfather, grandmother and all of them. Um, those days are gone and the royal family absolutely no, so, so again, I don't want to cause offence, um, but eh, looking at the past and the past with the glory days can never go back there, can never have them again. Um, how important is it strategically, the Commonwealth? It's very important in a balance of power context, two of wands. Um, two of wands is usually about partnerships um, rather than competitors but it's giving me the sense of competition here um, equally poised two powers that are positioned um, facing each other that are um, equally uh, powerful and the commonwealth as a buffer zone it's, it's giving me that energy absolutely in this reading so it is important and uh, there have been opinion pieces in the Hill uh, magazine, uh, political uh, uh, thought pieces in the United States, quite a few times about the strategic importance of the Commonwealth and the trouble that Harry and Meghan are stirring up by their meddling in Commonwealth affairs. As far as I can recall, if I have misremembered, please um, put me straight in the comments. Let's look at the King. Who would the king like to see succeed him as head of the Commonwealth? What does he think about the future? <laughs> William, the chariot, major arcana for cancer, uh, for cancer sign. Uh, it's the chariot he wants Prince William to take over the role. He really, it, it, it is something that he feels is very important that it passes on to Prince William. It couldn't be clearer with the chariot card. It's absolutely obvious that it is something that he really wants Prince William to take over. How about the machinations of the Parkles, the alleged machinations of the Parkles, according to Lady C? What does he think about that? Ten of Swords in reverse, devastating. Uh, he views it as treachery. Uh, the Ten of Swords is ruin, uh, calamity, uh, betrayal. It's normally someone who's stabbed in the back, Ten Swords, face down, dead. Um, it's beyond treachery because the card is in reverse. I'm reading it as, as beyond treachery. Treachery that can never be got over and not aimed at him. Treachery aimed at the late queen and her legacy. And that's why we have the Five of Cups as the leading edge of this reading, the situation that we are dealing with. He knows, and I'm sure Prince William knows too, that the glory days are gone, Six of Cups in reverse. But what Harry has done is unforgivable. Ten of Swords in reverse and Meghan. Betrayal, treachery, ruin. They have taken aim at the heart of the Commonwealth. Uh, which is a very important organization strategically for their own petty reasons, their own begrudgement, their own viciousness. That's my opinion. And if this can never be healed from the fact that the card is in reverse. How does Prince William feel about taking over the position as head of the Commonwealth? Uh, does he feel it's possible, something he wants, something he doesn't believe is possible? It's something that he is surrendered to given up. He doesn't believe that it's uh, a position that he will ever take. Um, Seven of Wands is a defensive energy. 
uh, when it's in reverse, it's an indefensible position. He knows, uh, and I'm reading his energy, um, he believes that he doesn't have a hope that um, he would be constantly under attack, that he has already been so under attack that he doesn't have a leg to stand on when it comes to this. Uh, the Parkles, whatever they have done to undermine him and his reputation and his position and his claim to be head of the Commonwealth, it has succeeded. That he's very vulnerable, he really can't defend himself, he really can't stand up and say, well, I deserve this position. No, he can't. Not with all the rabble rousing and the ugliness and the accusations of racism and everything else that goes on. It's something he has... He's surrendered, he's given up um, as a thought. Never mind this, uh, well, bear in mind this Eight of Swords in reverse because he might be wrong about that, just saying. Um, how does he view the Parkles and what they have done? The star is about celebrity. Unfortunately, it's the most beautiful card on the tarot. I mean, isn't that a beautiful depiction of the star, really? Um, Aquarian energy, um, hope, a faith, purpose, the soul, um, the most beautiful things, healing, inspiration, all the lovely things in the world, lofty kind of ideals, the star normally not in these royal readings, not when the Parkles are in the royal readings, unfortunately. That's just what has happened over time. With these cards, Prince William sees that they are all about the star power. They want it for themselves. And he's quite right, given the reading I've just done uh, from the Parkles' perspective and their view of their entitlement to the Commonwealth. I hope 2.5 billion people disagree with the Parkles and feel that the Parkles have no right to claim them as their uh, little domain that they can trample all over and exploit. So let's see, Commonwealth, is it going to stick around? Is it going to endure or is it on its last legs? We got the five of pentacles in reverse. Uh, it doesn't bode well, unfortunately. The Five of Pentacles is a card of change. And you can see it's um, change is always difficult. When it's Pentacles, it's about isolation. It's about financial problems. It could fracture over money. Countries that have lots of money versus countries that don't have lots of money could become an issue in the Commonwealth. And of course, you've got quite an odd mix of countries in the Commonwealth. You've got some very first world affluent countries. Um, and then you've got some incredibly poor countries, impoverished countries, countries that might feel that they've really been exploited. And we've got all those claims for retribution and things like that, that are simmering away under the surface. That is to me, Five of Pentacles, an organization that's going to fracture over money, and, um, legacies, who owes who, what, mm, whom, what, uh, and all of that. Um, the card is in the reverse. I'm reading that as really fracturing like I read this Ten of Swords in reverse, is really the end. Ruin. Betrayal. Park or roll, if any, in the Commonwealth. I've got the hanged man. Limbo, dangling, deluded to some extent because the hanged man is Neptunian energy. Um, so it has that sense of um, Neptunian energy around it, of being a bit deluded about things. Um, feeling so sorry for yourself as well. That's quite Neptunian energy, the victim. So they're going to feel that they have been robbed of what is rightfully theirs. Very powerful energy of entitlement in that previous reading, the reading I've just done. Um, and the sense of being punished, um, hung out to dry, victimized, powerless, um, Nobody appreciating them, nobody wanting them, all of that. I'm, I'm 
personally delighted to see that card because I can't stand either of them at this point. That's my personal opinion. I try not to let it poison my readings on them. Um, I have to try and stay neutral when I do these readings. But that is a sense of begrudgment and victimhood and um, self-pity and not being needed, not being wanted because a hanged man has no role and no purpose and no power. This for me is the interesting card here, this Eight of Swords in reverse. I keep being drawn to it. It's as if universe is saying it needs new vision and there are people around who in due course, and I think Prince William very much is one of those people. There are people around who in due course might just be able to sit around a table and have a new vision for the Commonwealth. And uh, so it's not all is not lost. Let's put it like that. But for the Parkles, seemingly all really is lost. And my goodness, they have disgraced themselves with the king. The king will not forgive them for the way they have tra trashed his mother's legacy and caused so much sorrow. And uh, Prince William sees absolutely what they're up to. I think so does everyone else. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.